Good afternoon. I was going to say good morning, but it is afternoon. Um, so we are testing, finally, the towing capabilities of the Rivian. So for this trip, we're doing a short run. We decided to go do some camping up near Nevada City. Not that far from home. It's only like 70 miles-ish, give or take. We'll have to look that up later. Um, just to see how the truck does and what kind of towing range it will have with this before we go further. Kind of a shakedown camping trip. Uh, we are going, going to be going predominantly uphill into the mountains the whole way there. We'll see how much that kills it. I will say to start that we're averaging right now 1.3 miles per kilowatt hour which would mean for our 135 kilowatt hour battery which means we would get about 200 ish miles but once we start getting up into the mountains that may change it may be worse for for a while but we'll make it there and we may even make it all the way back going downhill the whole time uh, we can charge in grass valley if we get desperate but uh yeah so shake down so far She's running very smooth. Like, I mean, obviously I can feel there's a trailer there, but it is such a vast improvement from the little vehicle that we used to tow with. Yeah, we just passed someone on a hill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there was a, I haven't been passing anybody. I don't like passing people when I have a trailer because when I'm driving, I hate trailers that pass. But we were going uphill and a semi truck was slowing down so uh, we went ahead and passed them even going uphill obviously this thing has the power to do it it's starting to drift down in its uh efficiency because of we're going up steeper and steeper but um yeah this will be the shakedown ride and we'll we'll film again once we arrive at the campground and and uh see how we're doing we are at our campground in uh the outskirts of beautiful Nevada City in uh, Northern California, if, if you're someone that's not from this area. Um, so we left, I, I realized I didn't give any numbers. So now that we're here, let me give some numbers. We are 65 miles from the house as driving. We are towing our R-Pod 180, which is give or take about 3,000 pounds, 2,800 dry and 3,500 gross. So, and we, it's mostly empty. So we're probably about 3,000 pounds. Now, the Rivian, of course, is capable of up to 11,000 pounds, but for how far, right? So we towed her, we left the house at 100%. I had uh switched the settings to 100 percent specifically for this trip and we left with 100 percent towed this guy 65 miles going uphill into the mountains elevation change of i forget about 2500 feet something like that um and there's the rivian and there's the r pod which is an 18 footer and we got here with 55% battery. So assuming we didn't use a ton of battery, we actually could get home, which would possibly be important because the one thing I forgot to bring was the charger. I even bought an adapter specifically for 30 amp plugs from an RV park. It's a very special adapter to go for from that to uh, the EVs because some wires have to cross and stuff. And of course you can't do that and run the, the R pod at the same time. So what we were gonna do was over the next couple of days, we were going to unplug for like two hours a day, unplug and run on the batteries while we charge the Rivian up and then switch it back to recharge these batteries. And so we were just gonna do some swapping every day for a couple hours to get her back up. I forgot the charger. That is the one thing we forgot. And so, um, luckily in Grass Valley, which is only about five miles from here, there is a charge point. So sometime 
I, I mean, like I said, I think we could make it home, but I'm not gonna risk it. So sometime as we're relaxing in the next couple days, we'll run into town, get some snacks, get some coffee or something and, and charge up for about 20 minutes. Just get it back to, you know, 75, 80%, just so we know that we're making it home, no problem. But with 55% left, couple days of sitting around this will probably be sitting then at 50% 45 to 50% plus the because we lose a few few percent every day that it's not plugged in not a lot I don't get a lot of drain but um, coupled with the fact that we'd be going downhill most of the way home I I think we would make it no problem but we're not gonna risk it we'll we'll go to the charge point and we'll top it off for about 20 minutes, you know, tomorrow sometime. Um, but overall, I got to say, I'm really impressed. Uh, like I said before, we decided to do a short run, just like an hour away to test out hauling this thing. The next one, maybe we'll do more like two hours away um, and see if it does it, no problem. And uh, you can hear that. That's going to be a problem. We're, we're so close to the truck here in our trailer that it's constantly sensing we're around and unlocking and locking. I, I might have to change the settings on that for the weekend. Um, but other than that, the trailer's all hooked up. Um, we're, uh, we're not boondocking it. We're at an RV park. So, you know, we've got water and waste and all of that. And um, time to relax for a weekend and then we'll see what it does on the way home. We've spent a few days up in Nevada City, and now we're on our way home, 65 miles. We're at 64%. It says we have 192 miles of range. Of course, because of towing, we know that's not accurate. Um, but Did you do the update yesterday for charging? No, I didn't. Okay. So, yeah. Where were we before we charged? So, yeah. We were at 53% by the, by the morning of yesterday. So we at one point drove into town and, and just gave it a little bit and bumped it back up to about 70% or so. Mm -hmm. But then we drove around town a little bit. So by the time we parked here, we were at 66%. Oh. Um, so now we're at 64%. We, you know, we just lost like 2% yesterday and this morning between charging and hooking up and all that. So we are, uh, it took 45% of the battery yesterday to get up here, but that was 2,500 feet of elevation and, and all of that. So starting from 64%, we will see what we are when we get home. Boy. Ooh, he wanted to make sure he didn't get behind us, yeah, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, Luckily, I'm just taking her easy. This trip has already proved this thing a little bit more capable than I thought, uh, you know, than I feared, I'll say. Right, the towing was easy. It didn't seem to hold Going the weight. Uphills, We're not even using the sway bars. I was, right, we didn't even use the weight distribution hit, kit. So the power is completely adequate for this, no problem. And, uh, now it's just a matter of in the future assessing how far can we go with this trailer between charges. So the next trip will be a little bit further, but maybe I'll do one more update at the house and and see what we're at battery wise. And other than that, it's been a nice relaxing trip in the uh, Sierra Nevadas. Yep, beautiful. We are home. We used about 35% of battery to get home. So that means for the round trip, 130 miles, going up 2,500 foot elevation there, and then coming back home, we used 90% of the battery. So if we hadn't charged in town, we probably would have made it, but it would have been close. So uh, overall, I'm real happy with its performance. It did pretty, pretty well. As far as performance for pulling itself, that's outstanding. Way easier, way more torque and power than our last tow vehicle. 
Last tow vehicle we had, I wasn't comfortable really even going above 50 or 55. This, we're going 60, fine. A few moments we were going 65 with the rest of the traffic. Felt absolutely great. So, yeah. Um, no regrets. No regrets on towing for this. Yeah, it didn't even break a sweat. Mm-mm. <laughs>